All right, so this reveal just came right out of the blue for me. I had zero idea Microsoft was planning this and I'm really trying to stay on top of things. But yeah, I just woke up to the news and right now I am jumping up and down of excitement. Let's talk about Xbox Series X. So after months of speculations about Microsoft upcoming gaming console, both the design and the name were unveiled at the Game Awards event a few hours ago. The name is Xbox Series X, which suggests uh, several models here, but what is unveiled right now is one design and one model, this being the more powerful Anaconda unit, also known as the successor and replacement for the Xbox One X. Now this is what it looks like and my first initial thought was wow I really like it. Now, it looks like it could have been a mini ITX PC case with this cubic footprint, and I think it looks awesome. Now, I'm so glad that they finally are going away from the traditional VHS design box that's been a thing for such a long time now. A bonus points also for the matte finish, and there's no way for a visible fingerprints here, which I think is a nice uh, refreshing side as well. Now, I want to know what you think about the design. Let me know in the comments below. Now, so the box is itself is about as wide as an Xbox One controller and can be placed both uh, vertically and horizontally. The system is cooled via a single fan which pushes air through the system out through the outlet of the top. In terms of sound levels it should correspond to what today's Xbox One X generates. Now the new controller is based on the same basic features as the Xbox Elite Series 2 but it will come with some new features. The center section now has a content chatting button similar to the DualShock 4 controller for PS4. It has also been ergonomically updated to fit more types of players and what this means we don't really know yet. But yeah, I cannot wait to actually hold the controller uh, in my hand myself and get a better feel and you know, try and get better sense of what the, the actual updates are. The new controller is uh, compatible with both uh, Windows 10 based PC systems as well as existing consoles in the Xbox One family. Now to attract new buyers, a new console also needs a flagship titles right and one such title is Senua's Saga Hellblade 2. This is a sequel to Hellblade's Senua's Sacrifice from 2017 and is developed by Ninja Theory which Microsoft acquired back in 20. 18. This is some gameplay from the video and worth noting here is that everything is rendered uh, on the new Xbox Scarlet hardware which is very exciting. Judging from the gameplay it looks uh, freaking fantastic in my opinion. The game is about exploring issues in the human mind of mental ill health caused in a dark and inhospitable world uh, inspired by Nordic and Celtic mythology. Now Microsoft did not mention anything about the new Xbox performance here except that it's four times faster than the company's current Xbox One X console. They did however mention that we are getting some form of image update and can also be synchronized uh, via some form of variable refresh rate. That means that we are getting at least HDMI 2.1 here and as I have previously revealed on the channel the Xbox Series X, the hardware, the graphics and the CPU is coming from AMD uh, from the SAN2 architecture and the graphics is based Based on the Navi or RDNA architecture, probably and most likely we are looking at RDNA 2, which AMD is going to show us more about in 2020. The new console also supports something called variable ray shading, which allows the developers to increase the performance by changing the level of details for different parts of the rendered image. To make the gaming experience smoother, Microsoft also uses the HDMI function Auto Low Latency mode or ALLM which allow the game console to connect to the screen with a low latency mode without the player having to activate it manually. The game developers can control the game latency properties uh, via dynamic latency input uh, interface. I know it sounds super tricky and complicated guys. I don't really know how and what this means really but I'm sure we're gonna get better information and how this works in practicality later down the road. Microsoft Microsoft also reveals that support for ray tracing is based on a combination of hardware support as 
well as the software implemented technologies. And this ray tracing technology does not only apply to lightning but can also be used to track sound sources and adapt the sound accordingly. Microsoft is also stressing the fact that the Xbox Series X will be backward compatible so you will be able to use your old accessories that you bought on your Xbox One and this also applies to gaming titles so hopefully we're gonna see you know all games that are now being played on Xbox One is also gonna be able to to you're also gonna be able to play them on the Xbox Series X. Now one flagship title for the Xbox Series X will be Halo Infinite and Halo Infinite is also gonna be launched on the current Xbox One console and features like achievements will also work on the new generation. If we look at the naming the Xbox Series X suggests several models and we're most likely going to see a slight slimmer and a smaller box being revealed in the near future, possibly a white box. Microsoft is planning on dropping a much slower machine with one third of the Xbox Series X performance. And this console is known as Lockhart and will be the true successor to the Xbox One S console. Now the Xbox Series X is also equipped with the Blu-ray player. Unfortunately, Microsoft does not share any information regarding to pricing or a more specific release date. However, we know that Series X is gonna launch on Christmas in 2020 and this is the same time frame as Sony PlayStation 5. Guys, <laughs> I wanna know your thoughts. I don't know if you can tell but I am mighty excited. Anyway, I am going to do teardowns and more interesting experience on these consoles once they launch on the market. So you definitely wanna stick around for that. In the meantime, I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. Watch either of these two videos for more content. Until next time, have an awesome day, right?